Well, viewers, we, uh, we are now targeting the pregnancy categories uh, being assigned to drug by the FDA. And the most important thing is here that uh, we shall focus on our target audience is undergraduate healthcare professionals. Now, let me proceed. Uh, before we talk about category A, B, C, D, and X, I have already uh, mentioned the Nevato in the beginning so that you shall have a clear idea that category X is just from cross and it is absolutely contraindicated in pregnancy. Uh, category A, the Nevato is, this board is the Nevato that control study have no risk. Well, control studies have shown no harm to the fetus in any trimester of the pregnancy so and this is being proved not only in the clinical phase but in the uh, preclinical phase as well i will cut it this is this is clinical phase so are you consider it's clinical phase it means that that category a drugs are safe in humans and as well as safety is established in the laboratory or experimental animals so far, category B is concerned, the best narrative is that no evidence of risk in humans are there, mean in the clinical trial are there, yet there have been reports either in the animal studies, there are reports, laboratory is maybe positive for this one, or the human studies are still lacking. So far, category C is concerned, uh, risk cannot be ruled out. It means there are documented risks, but these documented risks uh, still cannot be ruled out mean you have to assess now the benefits versus the uh, risk and in this particular cases you see the human studies are lacking and animals are either positive or lacking information on the fetal risk so benefits still justifies the risk and that is why the prescriber go ahead so far category d is concerned there is a positive evidence of risk you see and however potential benefits of drugs outweigh the risk so here we measure the benefits versus the risk and in category x classical reports are there both in the animal studies and in the humans regarding the harms harmful effect on the fetus and then uh, the risk at this particular case is clearly outweighs the benefits here it is reverse in category d you see the potential benefits outweighs the risk but in category x the risk outweighs the benefits so this is very important now the question is which drug can be given especially in pregnancy you know there is low back pain and this low back pain can be is best treated by paracetamol first the fomentation is advised fomentation do not go for drug and this fomentation is very important and has really has worked but even then it is required, then paracetamol is regarded as best, it's category B drug. Uh, so for antibiotics sometimes are required, remember antibiotics are prescribed by the authorized prescribers, by the respective regulatory body of your country, but usually static, making it easy for you, the cell wall synthesis inhibitors, penicillin, cephalosporin, cephalotrine, etc. are uh, considered safe because bacteria are usually from plant origin and plant cells have cell wall where mammalian cell does not have cell wall, but still it is an era of evidence-based practice of medicine. So, the surplus antibiotics are considered as amoxicillin, penicillin, cephalosporin, especially first generation and second generation cephalosporin. Or, or if there is atypical microorganism involvement, like mycoplasma humanus or mycoplasma or any other microorganism atypical, then erythromycin or azithromycin, the, both of these are considered as category B. Uh, drugs and you can go ahead for these drugs never goes for self-medication unless it is advised by your respective healthcare professional thank you